Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my monthly update for my project pan. In case you're wondering what is she even talking about, I will leave a playlist for you guys up in the eye so you can go ahead and check out what a project pan is, why I'm doing it, the products I've chosen, my updates and everything. But if you have been with me on this journey for a while, you would know how exciting this is for me to see some usage, to see progress and to see things getting emptied out. So satisfying and I highly recommend this project to anyone out there, especially if you're a makeup lover like me or just have a little bit of extra makeup in your vanity because this project just makes sure you get your money's worth out of your products. But I'm not going to ramble and make this intro any longer since we do have some roll-ins and some rollouts happening in this video. Some exciting, some not so exciting. I'm also going to talk about the challenges that I've been facing and how I'm using my products and how I plan to use them for the next month. So without any further ado, if you want to know everything about my update, then please keep on watching. Let's start off by talking about a product I rolled in last month in place of my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter with me right here. Now this is a beautiful product, don't get me wrong, but I feel it's a little, actually a lot overpriced of what this is because this is just a dewy strobing cream with a little bit of tint to it. And you do get a lot of good strobing creams in the market out there. So yeah, this is overpriced, but I already have it, I've purchased it, and I want to use it. My goal for this one is to go halfway, but as you can see right now, I have no windowing happening. I know that this does settle down, so you can see some windowing happening. But I have none of that going right now. I have been using this a lot. I've been using this as a primer all over my face. But on days when I'm going for just like a tint look, I have been using this on just the highest points of my face. And I've been loving it. It looks really pretty on the skin. So hopefully by the next month, we might see some windowing happening because I have been using it quite a fair lot. So I'm just surprised I don't have any progress showing right now. But slow and steady wins the race. That's been my motto for this one. I'm in no rush to finish anything out. I'm not trying to like use extra product to make sure I have some progress going. That's not what Project Pan is about. It's about just using and concentrating on certain products, not trying to rush them through, but just trying to make sure you get some more attention and some more love towards these products. The next product I want to talk about is my Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops. Now this one has been a product that's been quite challenging for me and it has been challenging since day one, not only of this project pan, but ever since the day I purchased it. It's very metallic, very high beam, very shiny. So it becomes a little difficult to work it and make sure you're not looking like the Tin Man. Now my goal with this one is to empty out and last month we had reached halfway and this month I think we just have about one third of that left. So hopefully by I would say say June we should be able to finish it up since you need literally the smallest amount of this one. Now I have been mixing this in with the foundation that I have been using and I've been loving how it works with that particular foundation but today I also used it on like my collarbones and a little bit on my shoulder. I think with summers coming in full play this would be something I would ideally like to put on my body as well just to get a little bit of glow going and to add a little bit of usage to my product. Again I'm not trying to rush and finish this out. I mean I kind of am because I do have this sitting in my vanity for a while now but but I'm just trying to make sure I get the most out of this product and using it on my face just like it is not my favorite thing but on the body I feel like it still performs a little better so hopefully I am going to be mixing this into lotions and using it as a body illuminator that would really pump up the usage that's something I said last month as well but I feel like summers hadn't really set in but now that they're burning us <laughs> I feel like I can definitely use this up a lot quicker if you have been with me on my project pan journey you would know the product we're going to talk about next is something I like to called Product Immortel or my Cori Espen Loose Powder. But I have to share with you guys that we are finally starting to see some progress happening. Very minimal but some progress. You can see I have worked a lot of that product out. Now my goal with this one is to go halfway. So I think that would happen by the end of the year, not before that because this is a huge tub and you don't need a lot. Now a lot of you were actually telling me to use this as a dry shampoo but honestly I'm not looking forward to that. I have a lot of other dry shampoos that are much more expensive than this so I would rather work them out of my collection and then use this as a dry shampoo and again I'm in no rush to actually finish this out or hit my goal that's not what project pan is about again but of course if you're someone who has some product that's nearing its expiry and you like to finish your products before expiry that is a great way to use loose powders you can use them as dry shampoo that works up your usage a lot and make sure that you are moving your products out of your collection quicker as well but for me I'm going to use this to set my face and hopefully by the end of the year we will reach our goal. Contrary to the previous update the next one is pretty exciting I have my Benetint right here and my goal 
goal with this one is to completely finish it off and as you can see i have some really great progress very steady progress so hopefully by the next month we will be able to finish it off because i have just the tiniest amount left in there i mean i'll still take a whole month to finish it off but you can see the progress has been amazing i love this product it's so easy to use i've been enjoying using it so much i apply a little bit to my cheeks to get like a nice rosy flush i applied sometimes to my lips but i love it mostly on my cheeks if you are looking forward to buying a tint get the mini size this is a mini size and i've been at it since a while i added it into this project when it was already halfway through so you know you're getting a bang for your buck I love this product so much. I'm going to be slightly sad when I work it out of my collection, but I'll be even more excited because I have so many other things that I would love to get through. I think this update is kind of like a yo-yo. We have an exciting update and then a boring update and then an exciting update. So this one had to be the boring one. I have the Becca X Jaclyn Hill palette with me right here, the face palette. And my goal with this one is to hit two pans, one highlighter and one blush. Now I have hit my halfway goal because I've already hit my pan on a highlighter. I've actually hit pan on both of the highlighters, but blushes is where I'm on honestly struggling because look at them they still look pretty much undisturbed now i have been focusing on this shade right here and there is some usage showing there i have to say there is some disturbance in the pan but i don't know how farther away we are from the actual pan of this product again i'm not trying to rush and just dip in my brush in there and get the, a lot of product out there i've been trying to enjoy it i've been mixing and matching to get different shades of blushes going so that i don't get bored of the blush but I would like to see a shiny pan coming through next month. That's what I would like to see. So I'm just going to keep at it, keep using my blush like I use it. I'm not going to just poke it around just to get some pan. I feel like I might be close to pan in this one just because I see a little bit of dip happening. But honestly, I'm not sure. With blushes, it's really difficult to see. And for me, they're the most hardest things to pan because... I don't use like a lot of blush. I use a decent amount, but with blushes, there's just such a concentrated place that you need to put it on. You can't just dust it all over your face like a highlighter. So yeah, let's hope for a pan for next month. And we're back to another exciting update. I have my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette with me right here. And my goal with this one was to hit any five pans before I could roll it out of the project. Now, previous to this update, I had hit pan on two shades. So I had to hit additional three pans to make sure I could just roll it out and get something else in. So let's play a little game guessing game right here leave a comment down below letting me know how many pans do you think I hit in my previous month but I'm not going to make you wait any further because I'm so excited to show you how my palette looks like this is what it looks like I have six pans in there so not only did I hit my goal I actually overachieved and I'm so glad honestly I feel like I could have hit a seventh pan if I used he devil a couple of more times since it has an insane dip but I was a little done with this palette I wanted to use some other tones some other shades so I kept it aside once I hit my sixth pan so I did end up expanding some of the other pans while the others are pretty tiny tiny but they're still pans they're shining through and I'm so happy so we will be rolling this other project for now and we will be rolling something else in place of this towards the end of this video so stay tuned for that but I love how well loved and used this palette looks like i know the formulation so much better so i know what i would be looking forward from urban decay if i wish to pick up some eyeshadows from them since i know their formulations now so so much better when we rolled this product in it was pretty much new not so used but now look at it look how beautiful it looks it's now time to talk about my ColourPop super shock shadows now my goal with this one is to hit pan on these i introduced two of them into my project but if i hit a pan on one i can roll it out and roll another one into this now my overarching goal with this one is to cycle through my ColourPop super shock shadows because i do have a lot of them and by hitting pan in them i will be able to know if i like the formulation the color and everything and down the road i would ideally like to finish up the ones that i end up liking but let's move on to the ones that i was working on on this month i have two shades with me right here one that i've had ever since the start of the project and one that i rolled in last month so let's talk about the one that i've had ever since the start of the project it is the shade mooning it's a beautiful deep wine color with a lot of glitter reflexes in there but last month i was struggling with it since i had a very similar shade in my urban decay naked heat palette so that taught me something to use shades that are complementary to a palette and not clashing with the palette so i'm going to definitely keep that in mind when i roll something new in because i did hit pan on this one thankfully because i kept my palette aside i could focus a lot more on this and i actually used a lot of it like a liner like a smoky liner and it looked so beautiful on the eyes it was so gorgeous with its like little glitter reflexes and all of that so we have a tiny pan in there but it's a pan i would like to say this is not my most favorite formulation by ColourPop because it did seem a little more gritty it can be due to the fact that i've had this since a while but i think this won't be a shade i would ideally finish up down the line but it's still a very gorgeous shade but now let's move 
on to the other shade which I rolled in last month and it's the shade Moonwalk. Now when we rolled it in last month, it was pretty much a new eyeshadow. So I'm so glad to show you another shining pan. Now this one I loved using. It's a beautiful multi-chrome, pretty wearable color because it's slightly neutral but still colorful. I used it all over my eyes like a liner, even on my waterline ones and I freaking loved it. I'm kind of sad that this is going out of the project but this is something I can see myself finishing down the line because I could hit a significant pan with significant usage all around as well in just one month. So I'm sure down the line someday I will finish this up. It's a beautiful shade, beautiful formulation. Loved it. Now after those two amazing updates, I have kind of a boring update for you all. I have my Bobbi Brown gel liner with me right here. Now my goal with this one is to completely finish it up and there are two shades in here. So mentally, I thought it would be easy because you won't be getting a lot of quantity in each of the shades since we have a split pan. But I was so wrong. So, so wrong. You need the tiniest amount of this one and it's pretty pigmented. It goes on so smoothly. So when we talk about the progress from last month, you can see there is a lot of progress going on, especially in the deeper shade. That is because I was using it as a base for my moonwalk eyeshadow to make it even more multi-chrome than what it is by itself. Now I did flatten both of these out since we had a lot of caving going on last month and my brushes were getting dirty and after flattening it out I felt like I'm starting pretty much over since it felt like a new product but I'm so glad we have a pan like a pan in the deeper shade right here. I feel like I would require about five or six more months to completely finish it off ideally and I would like to finish it off in that time frame. I'm in no rush but I don't want this to dry out because gel liners do have a tendency to dry out especially if you have opened it up and have been using it for a while so hopefully we can finish this up before it completely dies on me it's now time to talk about my last two products both of which are lip products and we will be having a rollout which is not an exciting rollout and I know you must be thinking not an exciting rollout what are you talking about but you'll know why I'm saying that so starting off I have my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade androgyny with me right here and my goal with this one is to completely finish it off now you can see from my progress that we've been having windowing for a while but because this is a thick formulation it doesn't really settle down completely so you can't really make out where you truly truly are now sadly I have to roll this out of the project not because I'm bored of the shade I've been actually really enjoying the shade I've been wearing it a lot layering it with different lip colors and glosses and all of that but the reason why I have to roll it out is because just today while I was applying it I actually have it on my lips right now layered underneath a gloss I actually broke the wand like it just snapped on me and you can't really fix it back I really tried I dirtied my hands I tried it but it wasn't working out now essentially you can use like a lip brush with this one but I think that's gonna be very messy I will still try to use it on the side let me see if I can use it on the side but I will roll something in in place of this just in case if that doesn't work out for me so yeah we have good progress I don't know how much longer it would have taken me to like finish this one up, but I'm so sad that the wand broke on me so I will be rolling this out for now and now for the last product I was working on for the month of March I have my model co lip gloss with me right here and I have been enjoying this one so much I have been enjoying the lip gloss life overall but this one is such a beautifully formulated lip gloss it's lightweight it's non-sticky stays on for a while and actually has a beautiful color to it as well so I have been layering this with lipsticks I have been wearing this by itself and enjoying it so 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 much and that's why you can see in my progress photos I'm already done with more than half of of this so if I keep going at the pace that I am currently going at I might be able to finish it up next month so we are potentially looking at two empties for the next update which blows my mind and that's the part of project pan you actually get to work through things but I'm so excited to be working through this and I cannot wait to work through my other glosses especially while they're still trendy because trends just die down so quickly these days so while glossy lips are the hot thing right now I want to work through a lot of my glosses so I'm so excited to be just working this out of my collection but for now that is everything for my updates now let's talk about the roll-ins that are going to be happening this month I am going to be rolling in three items one eyeshadow palette two super shock eyeshadows and then one lipstick in place of my Jeffree Star lipstick. I am going to try and still use it but if that doesn't work out I will start using on the product that I will be rolling in. But let's start with the eyeshadow palette that is going to enter this project panel. I'm so excited to be rolling this one in. I have my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde with me right here. Now undoubtedly this is a very beautiful palette but as you can see it's pretty 
much unused from my side there's not a lot of disturbance going on in any of those pants so i'm so excited to finally get some use going on here especially because there are so many different color stories that we have in this palette and it's so different from my previous palettes so it's going to be a refreshing change even for me now for the goals that we're going to set for this one are not going to be pan goals we're going to do things differently and i'm going to keep a usage goal so i want to reach for this palette 30 different times 30 times that i'm doing my makeup i want to do it with this palette so in an ideal world we can do that within a month but i don't do makeup on a daily basis and i don't want to reach for this palette every single time i'm doing my makeup because i still want to play with my other eyeshadows and use them up as well so i'm going to say i'll think that i might take about like 5 or 6 months to do that i know that sounds like a lot but again i don't do makeup every single day so 30 uses is a lot a lot but yes hopefully when we do that 30 uses we will see some more disturbance some more love going on in this palette and now it's time to roll in two of my color pop eyeshadows in and from my previous experience i've learned i don't want flashing colors i want complementary colors to what i'm using in my eyeshadow palette now i have hit pan on both of my previous color pop eyeshadows so that's why i'm rolling two new shades in the first one being telepathy which is a beautiful color it's a very popular color from color pop as well it's a cross between a yellow and a green it's very similar to moonwalk i would say but it's just not a multi chrome so i think this is going to be like a perfect pop of color for the summer season and i'm so glad to have this in now i do have a little bit of usage in this color not so much just the tiniest bit so i can't wait to show a little bit more love to this eyeshadow and then the second shade that i am going to be working on for this month is a much deeper shade this is the shade school bus now this is a gorgeous deep navy blue color which i think is going to be so complementary to the lighter blue shades that we have in the mercury retrograde palette so i cannot wait to show some more Oh, love to this eyeshadow. We have a little bit of disturbance going on there, and I cannot wait to increase that. And now for my last roll, and I have a lipstick in case androgyny doesn't end up working for me. Now, honestly, this is like a gimme product, so irrespective of androgyny working for me or not, I will be working on this lipstick. I have my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk with me right here, and if you know anything about me, you know I'm obsessed with this lipstick, and I just want to show you my progress with this one. I'm almost done flattening it out. So hopefully there's not a lot I have to dig in from there. My fingers are crossed because that happens to be the case with a lot of lipsticks. And of course, with that kind of usage, my goal is to completely finish it off. But again, irrespective of androgyny working for me or not, this will be done this year. I am committed to this lipstick. I love this shade so much. I layer it with so many different colors. So I'm pretty sure I can finish it up rather quickly. But yes, those were all of the updates I had for you this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful, especially if you are doing a project plan as well. Hopefully this helped in motivating you a little bit. And if you are doing a project plan, do let me know your progress down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. I love you all so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.